change your dryer transition vent immediately. In most cases, this is what they'll give you. This looks like it's metal, but it's actually plastic and can go on fire. And it's installed with these flimsy spring clamps. And then you can't see behind your dryer and the airflow you could easily take it off. These also, when they get crunched up behind your dryer, it'll kink up like that, causing bad airflow and being an extreme fire hazard. And then also these things, these can rip really easily and bend and break with just a little poke they rip so get rid of these these are a fire hazard do not use these so i would say would you want this behind your dryer the next one that you might see are are these ones this one looks like it's metal but it's basically tin foil, and you can see how easily it crushes with just a little bit of your finger. And when you try to tighten it, it just all unravels. These are really bad too. The only ones that I would recommend are these. This is Dryer Flex. I will leave a link down below so you can get the safest dryer vent for yourself. I highly, highly recommend you upgrade to one of these vents. with one of these clamps that has a screw on it. This way you will be as safe as possible. They compact all the way down to this size so you can put it behind your dryer. And then they expand all the way up to four feet. They are crush resistant, tear resistant, and most importantly, flame resistant. So make sure you guys check out that link down below and get yourself dryer flex this is the safest dryer vent that you could possibly get and if you guys want to learn how to install this on your dryer check out the suggested video where i show you step by step how to install this properly thank you